Hello, my dear. Thank you for being here, and I do hope you are doing well in this time. Welcome, and this is Sage, Sunset Healing Tarot, and I'm here to give messages to the Santa Cancer. These will be general messages, okay? So all the messages may not apply to all of you, so take the ones that do apply and the rest, let them fly. Welcome your energy in with me here. Breathe with me so that we can get messages that are accurate and resonates with you. Okay, also, um, as you come in, do hit the like button. Share the video with those you love by hitting the share button. Um, copying the code and you can share it to your WhatsApp, Facebook and whatever group. Um, you supporting the channel in that way is greatly appreciated by me. So please continue to do so when you can, if you can, however you can. Welcome in and hit the subscribe button if you have not yet done so. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Cancerian. So something may be keeping you up at night. Okay. Um, it is this two of wands energy. Should I or should I not? Should I or should I not? How should I? How can I? I want to do this thing. What you want to do really is to follow your dreams. Whatever that means for you. Um, you have some intuitions that you'd like to follow. Some visions that may be coming back alive to you. Or just new feelings, new things that you feel like you could be doing with yourself. No, things you feel you'd be good at. And it's almost like you're torn in two. Because you're going to have to leave some things behind. Maybe a person. So what is the two of wands as Cancerian's obstacle energy? Standing up for what you believe in, being militant, being grounded, um, being fabulous, gone with the wind, fabulous energy. But let me tell you what the Nine of Swords is actually. So it's death, failure, miscarriage, delay, deception, disappointment, despair. And all of that feeling is due to the Two of Wands. So listen up as your obstacle the two of wands is you know not necessarily obstacle but a challenge so you're looking over what you have and contemplating maybe where you'd want to go next okay so do i stay in this marriage or do i go chase my dreams that kind of vibration so that's the challenge that you have do i stay here stuck to the past tethered to past feelings emotions situations where do I go chase my dreams? And so I do feel like you're going to go chase your dreams. So let's continue. What you have to in your... The Five of Pentacles is what you can depend upon, I believe. What you have backing you up, holding you, is the Five of Pentacles, which is... For me, it's the ability to walk away or to find value, to see material trouble. Destitution. Love and lovers. Secret affairs. So I feel like maybe it feels like disciplining yourself, having... Not, you know, not fornicating, not being outside of morals, really, values, core values. Have your morals and integrity intact. And I feel like you can still choose to do so. Especially as it relates to your dreams. Almost like don't betray your integrity, yourself, your promise to yourself, a commitment to serve your purpose. It feels like you could be cheating on another person, you know. By wanting to chase your own dreams, you feel like you could be do it could be unfair because you're thinking of separating to go after what you want or spending more time studying and doing what you want. You know, you want to bring a change around, but you're wondering, is it going to be unfair for others, the rest of my family? But it's like you're cheating yourself, really. 
and it's tormenting your your comfort in mind all right for some of you this is cheating for real for real you know and it's making you feel you're wondering if maybe which way to go should i stay should i go hmm. so what you're leaving behind is the empress something difficult or doubt ignorance oh yes you're leaving those things you're leaving like doubt and difficulties behind Maybe. And maybe you're not really leaving it behind, but I think it's something that you've done. I feel like you, you've closed the case. <laughs> it's as if you were studying, and I feel you just closed the book because you found what you were looking for. That's the energy of closing the book and smiling, feeling like i done it. I've done the work. I feel like I found what I was looking for. I found some answers in this book. Whatever you were studying over here as the Empress. So maybe you were taking some time off from... I don't know. This relationship. And really investing in yourself. You know? Like we were saying. That's. I feel like that's what you needed to do. Um, but you may have felt like you were being unfair to another person in your life or another dream that you had working on. But you wanted to be fruitful and creative. So you took the initiative to try to figure this out. What was these feelings? What it is that you felt you wanted to do in this life? And I feel like you brought, you brought light to it by investigating, studying it. I feel like what you aspire for is the nine of wands or the highest that you can come into right now. For me, that is, it feels like you're waiting for a change or you have made a change already. Maybe you change your mind or your emotions have changed or something that you're working on. But you are looking out for and expecting this change. And let me tell you that, so the nine of wands is strength in opposition. So if you, if you are attacked, you will meet the onslaught boldly, this, this card, because you're prepared, like you're on guard, you're alert. All right, so that, that makes sense because with the knight of swords coming up next for what's coming up for you. It feels like you're about to, it could be two things. If you're going to make a change, if it is a change that you're about to make, especially in the world, you're going to get attacked by people that are coming, that are fearful of you, but they want to attack you. And they're coming in angrily, very upset, hastily, and you know, they are going to meet their demise, I feel, because of that. Because look at you, you're protected. You're guarded. Even you're guarded by, I don't want to tell you what you're guarded by in this reading. But you're protected. So I feel any attacks that are coming at you out of aggression will not prevail. Honestly, this person will, it's like futile. Futile. Because they will just run up into their death. <laughs> right? You can see that. Um, but if it is coming for you, if it is a if it is if it is that you decided to move on, I feel like this this knight of swords then will be something that's coming to to ward you for help. So I feel like ex I feel like someone is gonna approach you. So when I tell you, look out for someone coming to ward you. They're gonna come in a in an energy that is because it's the sword's energy. So you see, it's moving fast. So they're gonna come, they're gonna approach. Even if you don't know this person, they're gonna come into you quick. Wanna get working quickly, talking speedily. Um, it may overwhelm you, you know, as you can see here. 
but I feel like this person has ideas as if they feel like they've known you, they were ready to be on this journey. Because I feel like this person, they are intuitive. It could be a water sign. Because I was shuffling earlier, right? So this person, they, they got the card up. Pisces, the hangman, the moon, the king of cups, the ace of cups as well. So I feel like they could be coming toward you with a lot of love and a love, something about love. Like they maybe want to collaborate with you with the two of cups. But you could be overwhelmed because they're coming in so speedily. You know, it's like they, this person, they've never really met you before. But they come upon you so quickly and then they just start talking, sharing their ideas, their plans with you. All that they want to do, but they mean, they really mean no harm. I feel in time things will settle down with this person. Okay, so like I say, two scenarios. One is if a person feels you are threatening their world by wanting to make a change in their world, they're going to try to attack you, but they're going to get effed because they're going to run into what's protecting you. Okay, and um, so you just continue focusing on what it is that you want to do in this world. So you have this gift, you know, the Ace of Wands, angels, spirits, guides, ancestors. You came here to do something. That's what you're figuring out now in Empress mode. And I feel like people don't wouldn't want you to, to share all these, a lot of information that you've picked up on, especially in your own experience. So it could be threatening to some people. But useful, very, very useful to others. You know what I mean? So people want to work with you and people want to quieten you. But like I say, I'm going to repeat, the ones that feel like they're going to quieten you, they're going to get fucked. The ones that want to work with you, they're going to come into you. You know, they're going to just, I feel like they're going to change your energy too because they're going to keep talking, 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 talking. And then you're going to have to <laughs> listen. It's going to change your energy and it's also going to help you to figure out what it is that you want to do in this world. You know, this interaction with this person. So we have, you're also in the Ten of Wands energy. Building, building something new. When I was shuffling earlier, the energy of envy came out. Or the sound, the word, envy. Okay. You could be building, starting a new business, a new house. Um, whatever it is, with one's energy, creativity, a new idea, but it's something new or a lot of different things that you're working on at this point. So you could have a lot on your shoulders, so to speak, um, but you're bearing them well because the cards did tell me that you're going to be successful. What was that energy I felt? Yeah, it, it feel like you're working graveyard shifts. Because the death card came out, the moon energy to clarify the dinner ones. So it felt like you're, you're even working graveyard shifts, but guided by the essence of the moon as well. So you know what you're doing. You're guided by the Ace of Cups was there too. I'm guided by love, by your intuition. And I feel like you could be working alone, but you know what it is that you want. You have your vision intact. Like I said, it's like you're bringing a change to this world. You have your head down you know you gotta be strong it's like it's shift moving mountains in this world all right the world card and this is in the position of your home energy so when we see the world card it is change transformation is like a makeover vibration i see here see what i'm saying hmm you are bringing in a lot of change. That's I feel like that's why you feel, or or maybe you just feel like there's there's something that you can do differently to change some, and it's making you feel a bit of pressure. But let's look at the world, the world card, and this is in the position of your home. Says, um, it is assured success. Root, voyage, immigration, flight, change of place. Okay, so that means you may be traveling, moving, um, something shifting in your home, the world energy. So be open to change. 
your hopes and fears energy we have the high priestess so what was that i feel like you are you were fearful as if fearful that you wouldn't see a certain dream through but i felt like you i feel like you will or i should tell you that i know that you will see it through I got the energy of you having a deja vu in the moment of you actually being in motion of, how can I say that, fulfilling your dream. There's going to come a day when you're going to have a, a deja vu or a flashback. Or it's going to feel like you're coming into present of a realization like, oh, I am fulfilling this. I am witnessing it with the high priestess. I am witnessing something that I've, something coming through that I was worrying it would not. I am here. I am doing it. That's the energy with the high priestess. But like I say, you could, some, sometimes you could wonder if you're ever going to see this dream true or if you can, if you will live to see that. <laughs> so this is your energy. If you're a female, according to this. But if you're male, this is an energy that is interested in you. A high priestess. Female. Water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or someone that is spiritual in nature. Mysterious. Someone that you haven't met yet, really. Or you, you don't know about. Um, someone that you have a feeling about. Something that is in the quiet um, so this person is also wise and connected to the art, science, okay? And then the result of this reading is the Ace of Wands. Like I say, I feel like you've been gifted, you've inherited something. That's what the Ace of Wands is, an inheritance that I feel like you should use. You know, it feels like it's been haunting you. Like you have this gift and you're wondering, how should I, should I use it? Should I speak? Maybe you you have a gift of speaking or writing or farming or something that has to do with life. Because the Ace of Wands is the card of fertility, really, reproduction, creativity, anything that has to do with creativity really you know so it is creation invention enterprise the power which results in these principle beginning source birth family origin the beginning of enterprise according to another account money fortune inheritance so you know what i'm saying it's a gift spiritual gift you have of seeing of Hearing whatever it is that you do. Let's see. You have the ability to govern or to rule or to be direct, the strength card, or to lead. To lead. Yes, gains, financial gains, spirituality, magician. It's, it's a lot. The gift of speaking, a clairvoyance, magic, money too. Maybe you're good at finances. It's like you're good at multiplying, increasing, like I say, reproduction. Oh, I feel like it's almost like something can be taken away from you. So let me tell you, did ever watch that? I feel the energy of someone that has the title or the deeds to something. It's a it's a company or a business or probably land. And maybe you're going, you could be going through a fight or some, with someone that would want to take it out of your hand. 
I was going to say because, but then because of what? I don't know. Maybe we heard envy earlier. But um, they want to kind of manipulate it out of your hand. I feel like you do have a lot going on. I'm getting the energy of someone that runs a factory or like maybe you work in backside mining or something that is like a lot of noise and chaos in work. And it takes a lot of your focus and your energy and your dedication. Like you, you are you run this business. You you command. You order a lot of people around. Not order. You instruct a lot of people. Um, but it feels like ordering because when you're in the midst of the work, you have to stand up on your two feet. So you have to be directing. Yeah, people. Um, here, there, like park the trucks over here. Go there. Dig this hole here. Um, that's the kind of energy I'm feeling with you. Like me, you may be working in construction, maybe you're a contractor or something like that, and it's your, but business or company. But on the behind all of everything that you have dealing with, there could be someone that is swindling or trying to take this the fuck out of your hand. It's so unfair, really. Like they want to take it out of your hand. They do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They tried. Um, and it could be a group of people, you know, but have no fear the high priestess is here, yeah. That's just so you know. That's just so you know what's up. So you know what's up. You know. So you, it's like you may have taken a break. Maybe from work to sit down. And it's going to be okay. I believe so. I like seeing you in the Empress energy. It feels like you're not in the chaos. And you're you know taking some time going over the papers the paperwork whatever the materials and you feel it, it's gonna be all right and trust it trust that it's like what is yours is yours You know what? This show. So I feel like someone gave you something and something happened. Maybe you walked away. I don't know. And they want to take it back. That's the energy. Give and take back. Now they're looking at you, looking like, look at her, looking good. That's the Empress sitting on this thing that I gave to her it's like they're looking at how you're sitting on this chair that they gave to you and they're like look at how she's sitting on the chair that I gave to her and they wanted to come back for it you know but the divine said this motherfucker I don't know if it is the divine it probably not is but this thing protected you the knight of sword I, I want to say it saved you. <laughs> and then the end is the head priestess, the world, the ten of wands. So I feel like you're seeing your vision through. I don't even feel like you saw that this person was coming at you. Maybe you're just getting wind of the snow. Okay? You didn't see it. Like this person looks envious. I said that envy of something that you have. This is so messed up. But I don't know. End of the day. What is fulfilled is fulfilled. All right, leaving these messages here. I hope you found some that resonates with you and is able to help you on a journey. Much love. And I'll see you in the next one. Cancer, like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace out. Remember that all is within you. Bye.